first and foremost, when we're receiving the ball in these areas, these midfield areas, so the ball goes back into the big man. Midfield players, when they receive it, if you can, and only if you can, try and avoid receiving it in central areas. Lee, allow that for your centre forward players. I'll tell you why. When you're receiving it either side of the centre circle here, <clears throat> if he's stopping it, the ball being played into me, he's going to fire the ball into one of my strikers. If we receive the ball in these areas here, two things. Once I break the line, so I broke the line of the first block, I'm in a position straight away where I can either create a 2v1 to try and score a goal here, okay? If it's not on and I go the other side, all of a sudden on the big switch, I get the opportunity to create the 2v1 on the other side, okay? Once you're in these central areas here receiving and it's midfield players, all of a sudden it's a big, big ask for me to play the ball into my wide player and then try and get beyond my wide player and try and get beyond their back line, okay? If I receive it here on the half turn, slightly wider, okay? Now I can bring myself into play. I might want to overlap him to create that 2v1. The big man comes into play. He might play a little give and go on a 1-2, so I'm the third man, all right? Or I might even at times want an underlap, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Yeah, when you're ready. Yeah. 